What'd you ladies think of the women's conference? Oh, we enjoyed it thoroughly. Thoroughly oh, enjoyed it. it. Great time. Yeah. Really nice people. We appreciate all the speakers. And the mm -hmm. Thank you Amen. so much. Amen. What'd you think of the women's conference? It was amazing. It taught me so much about how much I need to get further into the Word of God and learn and keep at it every day to encourage us and to give us strength for every day. Amen. Thank you all for for listening to the Marcel Network and thank you for coming to our conference. Should we do this again? Yes. You guys excited? Yes! Woo! Having rules, baby. Yes! We are here today to proclaim that heaven rules. And when we look in the Bible, we saw that heaven ruled with Moses and the Israelites. We saw that heaven ruled in the days of Noah. We saw that heaven ruled in the life of Joseph. We saw that heaven ruled in the life of Daniel. We saw that heaven ruled in the lives of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We saw that heaven ruled in the life of Esther. And you know what? In our lives today, heaven rules. When it seems like our world is falling apart and when we look at our world today and it seems like it really is, what can we say? Amen. You might not see the end. You don't see my fulfillment. But I am giving you this promise because you have hope. We have a crisis of hope because people don't know God. And yet, we know God. I don't know how God will use that profound loss for our good and for His glory, but I have no doubt that He will because I know His character and I know His promises. The Lord made it clear that I was supposed to start writing again. One of the things that He needed to minister to me, that sense of absolute security and confidence in who He says I am that it's not about who we are, what we have to offer, our gifts and talents, our position in life, nothing, none of that. It's the cross of Jesus and the fact that he loves us with an everlasting love. You know what's amazing? As I began to study this, I thought, I bet that women will think that was true for Joshua and that was true for the Israelites, but how do I know that these promises are true for me? I actually think that these are more true for us than they were for Joshua and Israel. We have more of God's nearness with us through the indwelling spirit. One of the most beautiful pictures I remind myself often of is Jesus at the right hand of the Father praying for me and praying for you. That's a promise. Do you think he's going to fulfill that promise? Is he there? Yes, because Heaven rules, right? Heaven rules. Can I just say that I am so full and so blessed. I pray that you all are too. And when you leave this place, let us live like heaven rules. Amen. Father God, we thank you so much for this time. We thank you for each and every speaker who took the time, Lord, to prepare, to share with these ladies. We thank you for Jeannie Vogel. We thank you for Paula Marcella. We thank you for Northside Church, Lord, for being so generous to us. And most of all, Lord, we thank you for your love and for your grace and for your mercy, Lord. And we thank you that we can trust in you. And we know, Lord, that you are ruling all the time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Go from this place, be blessed. Lord willing, we'll see you again next year. We had a blessed time in 2022 and in 2023. And we're looking forward to having a blessed time in 2024 at our At His Feet conference. Come on out and join us.